Where? Why? How have you gone from us? We have been forgiven and fell to complacency. We have forsaken the picture to become a mere self-contained jigsaw piece, oblivious to the real world, living in a lag created by the industrial me machine that seeks to assassinate Darwin as surely as they executed God. Those who live in the sky towers who could never be bothered to peer down at us or up at those who truly hold the power, attempt to dictate and suffocate life to a mass that should function as a collective but has been sabotaged by the cross-wiring of subcontracted demon electricians who know what they do but still seek redemption from us who have been disqualified by their masters. In a greater world where Blake's doors are revolving, not welded shut by the industrial knee machine, children play as they are while youths play as they are while adults old men in sand-filled hourglasses play as they should be. I beseech you all, never call me a star. Behind the angel fire that lights the heavens is a physics furnace, a nuclear nightmare, a wicked fire that runs its course according to a prescribed nature, then burns out destroying its allies and foes without discrimination. Stranded on earth, we seek the heavens, worshipping a distant flicker to which we ascribe name and face. We want to be the stars, and accordingly we burn out slaves to our nature and the industrial me machine, and no one will truly know of our departure for thousands of years. Many miss the disappearance of a mountain. How can we expect people to peek and peer through the cogs and wheels of the industrial me machine to spy the fallen petals of the dropping flower? Those who pay per month for freedom because they don't want to carry a quarter. Those who believe that nobility is freedom. Those who scream at microwave ovens that cook too slow. Those who goose step and pander to curry the favor of despicable men. Those who have created a society where one must suffer the humiliations of teachers for 20 years just to cope. Those who teach instead of show. Those who prescribe dosage but never cure. Those who are the armed stormtroopers of the industrial me machine who threatens us all with nuclear nightmare while promising the Holy Land. A Holy Land brought to us by Disney like Microsoft and sponsored in part by loyal viewers like us. Welcome to today where our children are classified as general, parental guidance, 14A, 18A restricted. Did you give your child a name at birth? Did you fill out a form? Did you pay and splice and pay for the perfect child? Did you give your child a name at birth? Who is your child? What is your child's name? What is your child's face? Who is your child? Is she the angel of your world or is she 14A? Can she watch suicide on TV as long as you are not watching? Do you have more important things to do? Are you writing an angry letter to the mansion while your ten-year-old is readjusting the dish behind your back? Is it your way or the highway? Is it your house or is it your home? How many flowers grow in your neighborhood? What is your neighbor's name? What is your name? Do you carry the business card of the industrial me machine? Would you know the difference? Do you dream in color? Do you dream at all? Do your nightmares remind you to breathe? Do the demons in your sleep smile when they exhale? Do you have the dream where you're being chased? Do you have the dream where you're being chased? Do you have the dream where you're being chased? Do you have the dream where you're being chased? Do you have that dream where you die? Do you deserve it? How many colors am I holding up? How many could you see? Do you see the colors beyond the pastel blah 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 of the flag of the industrial me machine that waves in the doorways and hallways and streets and offices and sidewalks and washrooms and classrooms and boardrooms and interrogation rooms and cells and confessionals and hospitals and prisons? Have you ever been in a brothel? Where is the light rainbow of life in this world of the industrial me machine? I want to run wild like a hypochondriac, paranoid, delusional, schizophrenic, psychotic psychopath through the streets until you see me standing with your next of kin just to see the look on your face when you realize that life goes on without you and you have been castrated, made impotent by the industrial me machine. You are forever doomed to sit at the player piano and watch the keys.